Test one. We've got 40 turns. 16 gauge wire. On this one. And I got this one wound the opposite way. Still connected as one wire. 20 turns. This equals uh, 1.4 ohms together. With all 24 in place, it'll be 0 0.8. guys what's going on my fellow youtubers so this is what we got this is just a test to increase the magnetic strength on the wheel and so far the test results is good and also it's hard to even pull this keeper off this magnet so not only did I make the magnet stronger by doing this um, we also are going to show you guys how to make a strong magnetic field <clears throat> induced from the magnets itself. This is crazy how strong that is. Crazy. The coils all around the whole wheel, all the coils wound the opposite, so each one will have a different pole. And we're going to oscillate these poles. That's what I was just showing you here. It, it had like a built-in uh, frequency oscillation that it was uh, doing on its own from the springiness. Uh, we're going to oscillate this wheel off of one of the PMHs. And we're going to use that as a control sort of like a reed switch and uh, what we're going to do from there is we're going to um, use this ground pipe and that ground pipe as the iron that this wheel is going to attract itself to uh, when we oscillate it um, what we'll do is we'll weld a little keeper bar 
something real thick stock like this, but going straight down from the top of this to the bottom. And what it'll do is it'll give a metal to metal point. So the wheel will be so strong when you fire up the in this these coils here, it'll pull itself over to the metal here. So this way you really don't don't have any uh, <clears throat> variances in the changes of like with the PMH running, um, it it will eventually suck the magnet strength out of these we out of these magnets because this is a stronger magnet when it's fired up as a field magnet and um, these obviously uh, give in to the to the stronger magnet so now we're making the wheel the strength and uh, one thing I want to show you is this is on so tight uh, when you go to these other ones it's on there but you can definitely feel your strength and this is on tight 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 so <clears throat> Just by doing that and oscillating it, I built the strength up in, in this V-shaped magnets here. So we're going to do some more studies on uh, um, the back area of where this initial V There's a lot to explore here. But I just wanted to show you guys this and pretty cool stuff. Uh, last night on one of my videos, I charged a little uh, capacitor. Uh, I started off with uh, my beer bottles, and um, they're for thousands of volts. So you're not even going to penetrate through the dielectric in them. And with, with this voltage, we're, we're just experimenting with. And then also, uh, like uh, this bag here I tried, this is... 10,000 volts, one nanofarad capacitors. They won't hold the charge because you can't even get a charge in them. This right here is uh, three, no, this is, I think 3,000. And then these here are 1,000. So uh, none of those would work. <laughs> but what did work was the, um, capacitor that I showed uh, last night on my video uh, it was a small 12 volt capacitor it held the voltage and it showed me at least here you go in one of these it showed me at least I was on the right path I'm not really looking to create the energy the way we were going by the PMH but I wanted to see what the PMH as it sits would produce this is 8 ohms on each side um, it got stronger when I hooked them up together versus individually. And uh, I built up uh, the capacitor to a, a 5 volt charge. Um, one thing I will say that I learned that's a great shelf item is the fact that when I was turning this wheel, at the speed I was turning it, it would only go up to a certain voltage. And in order to get it to go up in voltage, to charge that capacitor. Um, now think about that. The capacitor's already got that voltage inside of it. But you have to literally put more pressure, current pressure, into that capacitor to force it in. You're forcing it in like an air compressor, basically. So it would not go higher in voltage unless... <clears throat> I just want to say hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I, it would not go up in voltage unless I went faster and I had to get this thing screaming to get it to the 5 volts so that goes to show me now when you're dealing with capacitors it's the pressure through the wire which is the current which allows that capacitor to charge up because you're forcing a capacitor just like you'd be forcing water so anyway, you guys, leave comments. I'm excited about uh, wrapping all these spokes here on the magnets with copper wire, 16 gauge. I got all the math done. Uh, by the time I'm all wrapped around this whole thing, um, 
I have all the ohms figured out. Uh, um, basically, be building a, a frequency for this generator down the road. Um, but this is going to be a beautiful setup. Um, I'm going to use fiberglass cloth, wrap it around, and then I'm going to uh, resin that. And then um, I'm going to uh, slide it off, let, let, let it harden, wipe this down, and then uh, I'll slide it back on uh, after it's all dry so I can move it in and out. Then I'm going to wrap a layer of wire around it and it'll have uh, 10 loops. Each loop is almost a foot long, all the way around circumference. Um, 10, and then I'm going to put more. Um, well, actually for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and loop it twice, and then put cloth around the, apps, uh, the, the tops, or around the whole outside and um, put some test runs on it. And I'll put rubber bands around it, keep it tight. Um, eventually, when I get this really dialed in and doing whatever it's supposed to do, um, this little sleeve will pull in and out and everything will be connected like a daisy chain. And um, uh, I felt that 16 gauge wire uh, handles good current and handles heat really well and good amperage so um, when down the road we start putting uh, well it really comes down to what it took me to figure out to do the math on what gauge wire how many turns how many ohms and then all of them in series all the way around what that all comes out to and it, it literally um, got it written down but I had that all balanced out and figured out so we're on a path for that um, I already just showed you when you oscillate these magnets um, I think that's where the magic starts uh, this thing here is so fully charged so we have uh, a real strong uh, magnetic charge inside this metal like the whole core right now just because what happened to that v-shaped magnet the whole son of a bitch has got some got some attachment to it so um, I can't say it's got more magnet strength to it but it will open my doors because figuring out how to charge this is an undertaking, but I got that all figured out. We'll go over that on the next video. Um, and uh, we'll go over how, well, these right now are fixed on their poles, but I could oscillate this through a capacitor and rotate poles on, on these legs. Uh, very doable. Leave your comments, guys. Peace out.